Last week on the RGC, Dave was me, and I was a dope-ass MC. Ryan cheated and AAA pleaded, and Dan got ya force. <laughs> Get it? Gotcha force. <laughs> Shit boys. One, two, three. Rebel Gaming Club, worst pickup, episode 39. 39, 39, 39. Woo, woo, 30, fucking nine. Woo. 39, boy, you getting this whip. No, no, no. You getting no. that whip, boy. No, 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 no. You getting the whip. No. You're no. getting the fucking I didn't whip. cheat. You fucking cheated. I didn't cheat. 20 people said you cheated. Think My so. man, Chad Juice. Chad fuck Juice, but whatever. Whatever, fuck. They said Chad. I'm calling him Chad Juice. You're Chad Juice. That doesn't matter. You're getting the whip. It doesn't matter. Those guys don't know. You get, they know. They don't know. I'm not getting whipped. You're getting whipped. Hold on. Hold on. You're getting whipped. No, no. Hold on. I have a, I have a fair deal. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. We'll, we'll bring in a judge. And he'll decide. You guys cool with that? Yeah, okay. Right? All right, you get a non-biased judge? I do. He's non-biased. Come on in. No fucking way. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, fucking... My man, Jordan. The Shane yeah. Mack from this guy's Vince McMahon. Come on, are you yeah. serious? Nah, it's fine. Uh, the guy oh. that helped you cheat. No, I he's unbiased. Shit. I'm gonna review the footage, and we're gonna figure out if Ryan's getting whipped. This is bullshit. Ladies, y'all, I'll tell you later in the episode. You're getting fucking whipped. Get the Either fuck out of here. Fuck you. Stay <laughs> tuned, guys. Later in the episode, we're gonna decide once Jordan reviews those tapes. My man. Fuck that shit. We're here, guys. We got a bit of news. You know, last week we showed off our new t-shirts. Oh. Yeah, we're down there. out of this fuck. We printed show. 40 of those. We have 16 left. So if you guys want to get one, make sure to hit us up in the comments. I'll also leave my email in the descriptions down below so you guys can get one of those if you want. You asked about prices, you said dick pics, you can, you know, ask about some trades. Yeah, you do all that stuff. So that, that bit of business is over. And also, guys, this GameCube collection. Oh my God. I just did the math. We are 79 games oh, away from a complete collection. That's nothing, that's nothing. That really isn't much, other than, sure, I don't have Pokemon Box. Whatever, you know, whatever. All right. What else? I don't, have, I don't have Disney Basketball. Uh, that sounds like a fun game. It's it does sound like a fun game, and it sounds like a $200 game. <laughs> so that's going to hurt. I can't even find a complete copy. I mean, let's forget about those. Let's you get those manual. other ones. You need the fucking manual. We can make manual, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm paying 150 oh. without manual. Hey, we're going into manual business. Just we're gonna make manuals. We'll bootleg that Jesus manual. Fox didn't want to fucking get in on it. We're gonna be. Millions. You guys want some bootleg manuals? No. Let's get to the games. All right, we got some pickups, guys. What's the theme this week? PlayStation One. PlayStation. First up, guys. We got this PS One. That's AAA complaining that he ain't gonna get to whip me. Our brother Josh, he was uh, he swung over yesterday with a box of stuff and he was like, hey, you want this stuff? And I said, yes, I do want this stuff. I always want that stuff. Just a sleek design. Also, in that little uh, bundle of stuff, there was this Star Wars demolition. I didn't know much about this. This is from the creators of Vigilante 8. Oh, it's kind of, oh so it's like... Uh... It's like Twisted Metal for Star Wars. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I played a little. It's alright. Right. He also uh, brought this over. Star Wars Episode 1. 
Jedi Power Battles. I, I, I played that. That's a fun one. This is funny because I played this years back, and since then, I was never able to find what game it was. But come to find out, this was the one. And here it is. Oh. Is that Jornell Jackson on the back? Yeah! It's good. See that? It's I got a purple lightsaber! What else we got? Well, been doing some thrifting in the last couple weeks, and I found some stuff. For $1.75, I found this Army Men 3D. It's pretty cool. Army Men games are always fun. I like Army Men games. For five bucks, I got this Soul Blade. I, I found that technically. Yeah, technically. I did find that. Yep. It looks really good, actually. It's like a fun 3D. But technically, you found this too for five bucks. I did. It's Legend of Dragoon. Oh, man. It's good. It's really good. It's a really trade. Good. I want to trade for that. And for a dollar seventy-five, I found this Resident Evil 2. <sighs> See, guys. The good thing is, I just traded this away a couple weeks ago for Resident Evil 2 on the GameCube. Far and superior. And now I have a copy. You got it back. back. I got it back. See, like, like you don't want two PlayStation 1 Resident Evil 2s. Now you have one each. Well, it's funny how that works, guys. You you know how that works. You, you trade off something, and then a week or two later, it comes right back to you. It's good karma. It's karma. It's karma. Tight white, you wouldn't know shit about karma. Yeah, you piece it. Peace out. My buddy Tommy gave me this. It's still in its box. It's the four-way uh, adapter here for the PS1. She's a little dusty. So now we can play some Crash Bash. Oh. You want Crash Bash? I'll Crash Bash. We could play some. Uh. Uh. Listen up, Rebel Gaming Club. Listen to me when I say I'm the grand ship of one and only, and I'm back better than ever. In fact, because I got myself a f***ing cool Nintendo and Swords unit. So, a Relic Toy Hobby. I go in there, they have lots of good stuff. Friendly, friendly crew. And of course, me, being Nick Grand Champ, I always kind of have to get the best deal I can. So always try to haggle with the owner. And he's a good guy, he's a straight shooter. And uh, I saw this thing, it had no price on it. And I said, uh, what you looking for the, the storage holder? A couple two, three, maybe a couple two, three dollars? He says, no, I was thinking more about 40 or so. I mean, it is original. I said, well, I said you're out of your mind, all right? You're out of your mind if you think I'm gonna pay $40 for the in storage unit. I don't even have 40 games to put in here. All right, I've got eight top guns. Eight top guns and that's it. And Dan gave me a rad racer and he also did give me pretty much all the Super Mario's but besides that I have eight top guns. And I put them all in here and I wake up and I play them. You guys got a problem with my top gun collection, tell me to my face using your camera phone that you got at the Apple store. So, your next question, how much did I pay for it all? You wanna know? $10, $15, $20? I paid $2.32, flat, that's it. I'm not, ri okay, I paid $10 for it, but it was good. It was great, and I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys are too. Nick, you paid ten dollars for that. Pay ten dollars for it. So you lied to the people. I lied to the people. You're a, a liar. I'm a liar. It's, pay twenty dollars for it. Pay twenty dollars for it. Twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty. Nick, why did you lie the first time? Cause I'm a deceiver. I'm a deceiver. I. And lie. That's what I do. I deceive you. I deceive YouTube. I deceive everyone. The integrity. Your integrity's gone, Grand Champ. It's gone. You're lying to the people. I'm sorry, YouTubers. I lied to you. I lied to you. Straight. That's probably not even yours. Found it. <laughs> Ordered some shit from GameStop. And was, it came. And it came. And I was hoping it would come in a case. 
never comes in a case. Yeah, why would I That's think that it would show up in a fucking case? Guys, you ever heard of this game? It's Master of Monsters. Whoa, that sounds awesome. Yeah, no, this is a good one. This is a, this is a Wait, strategy. Wait, you know we haven't done in a while, right? What's that? Show gameplay. Go to the clip! awesome yeah yeah I, i've seen this I, you see it always loose you don't see it complete i don't know if they actually made a case for this because i've never fucking seen the thing never gonna find it probably not too but many games maybe maybe next up i bought a game off amazon for four dollars it's pricey i seen this one the amazing virtual sea monkeys yeah, the the novelty alone. Love sea monkeys. Yeah. You know what? I know someone else that likes sea monkeys. Oh, I think I do too. Mosley! Aw oh, shit! I've been waiting for this moment. Twenty-four hours of water purification. Now it's time to create instant aquatic life, baby. Yeah. Instant life, my ass. So Dan recommended that while I wait for my amazing aquatic life to be born into the world, I should try out the Sea Monkeys video game, The Amazing Live Sea Monkeys for the PlayStation 1. So where do I begin with the amazing virtual sea monkeys? Well, the logical place to start is the fact that that's not even the title that shows up when you start up the goddamn game. That stuff aside, in theory this should be a really fun game as it's essentially lemmings with a twist. You ride around in this tiny submarine called the Nautilus that has a suction nozzle on the front which you can use to suck up certain fish and grab other fish and move them around. The goal of the game is to take your sea monkeys from the point where they hatch to the clamshell at the end of each level where they will be swallowed up, thus ending said level. Naturally, they are 100% brain dead and 150% slow as balls, so when they eventually factor up the time it took you there and add that to your score at the end of each level, you're pretty much faced with crushing disappointment at the feeling that you could have done better where the sea monkey's not so goddamn stupid. Throughout each level, you're going to have to use your suction nozzle to help them avoid various obstacles, pretty much all of which are other fish that will either inexplicably damage you, but not the sea monkeys or the other way around. And just overall, they managed to take something that should be really fun and turn it into an incredibly bland, generic, plain experience. Sea monkeys, as much as I love them in real life, I would have to recommend against this game. You would have more fun sitting there waiting the 24 hours for your water to purify before you can add the eggs to your real life sea monkey tank, and then at least they're going to swim around and be cute. These sea monkeys just suck in almost every way conceivable, so just do your best to avoid this. Not as fun as it seems like it should be. Yeah! Mosley really likes sea monkeys, apparently. I know that. Yeah, so this is probably going to sit on the shelf for a while before I have to really play it. Uh, maybe. We'll see. I had a loose loose copy of this game but i bought the case this is a good game and that case is ogre battles what john you ever play that <coughs> no? no you want it sure i still don't have the manual for this but i am that much closer and the case is so fucking I'm sexy i'm still playing the game boy advance version it's fucking hard and i'm a little stuck you are a little stuck I'm a little stuck my buddy Scooter hit me up. He said he had a friend who's Scooter selling. Route. He said, uh, I have a friend selling some games. I'm like, oh yeah? What's his name? He said his name was Adam. So I hit up Adam. Whoa, and I, Bob. And, I, and I bought a couple games off of him. First up, we got Breath of Fire 3. Three. She's a loose only. Jarns Jelly. That's fiery. Oh. But I only paid $10. Hold on, hold for this. That's hot. Whoa, 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 that's hot. That's a hot pickup. And for another ten dollars, he sold me Breath of Fire Four. What the fuck? Damn, George's Damn. so jelly right now. That's how I do. Thanks, Adam. I was on eBay. I was on eBay. You clicking? I was clicking on eBay. Keyboard warrior. I seen something that spawned something in my mind. There was a PC game back in the early 2000s that I played the hell out of. I might know it then. What's it called? 
It's called Theme Hospital. Oh my god, Theme Hospital. I didn't realize it was a port on the PS1. And when I found that out, you know what, guys? I had to buy this. I had to. Had to. You know, you got floaty head syndrome. You got to pop their heads. You get all kinds of stuff. This is a like a Sims game. You you make a hospital. You you arrange it. You can research you, and develop your own drugs. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Guys, I've, I've put hours and hours into this one. I highly recommend it to anyone who likes those kind of sim games. It's fun. It's Look. really, it's really fun. And it's it's kind of pricey on the PS1, but you can download it on the, the network for like five bucks, which I've also done. Oh, hold on. They ain't ready for this. No. I don't think they're ready for this. No, they are ready for this. They are you are sure? Yeah, I'm positive. They're going to lose their minds. I think so. Here's another one towards my strategy collection of RPGs that I have. And this is one I've wanted for a while. I found it for a decent price on eBay. I had sold some stuff so I didn't feel so bad. For 60 bucks, I picked up Vanguard Bandits. You gotta be fucking kidding me. A working designs title right there. This looks incredible. Uh, does come with a manual. I think I might be missing a map with it or something like that, but. I might have to give you uh, some collateral and borrow that. Cause that looks really actually like a really good game yeah this is a really good game guys like uh, mechs with tactical it's got all kinds of goodness in it front mission. Yeah, yeah these are like real mechs though this looks cooler than front mission these are like gundam mechs those are not, those no are not no they are yo you got that gang yo you know i do baby <laughs> So I made a trade. I made a trade with the great one. Hav. Hav G's. Hav G's. The, the, this man. Hav, what's up, man? What's up? I sent him some River City Rebels records and some, some merchandise. And in return, he gave me another game towards that, that strategy collection that I want for the PS1. I thought this finishes it. It kind of does, it kind of does, but I have some stuff I haven't shown. So technically this does complete it, but you guys will see I do have some more to show you in a later episode. So Hav, he sent a letter, he said, to the, the best crew, I'm hyped to be receiving this gear. Enjoy the game, Hav. G. And what did he send me? Brigandine. Oh, my oh God. look at oh, that tasty guys. atlas right there. It even says RPG sim down at the bottom, so I know what it is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This comes with the manual. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the map, which he told me about, and I was alright with that. I can live uh, without a yeah. map. Yeah, I think you're gonna be all okay. Since me and AAA are in the business of bootlegging, we'll probably do maps as well as manuals. It's a terrible business. I'm it's excited. A terrible business. I tried to play this on my uh, my, my modded Xbox, and um, there's a lot going on here, guys. Yeah? There actually is. I was confused as hell. I couldn't even, right like, away. right off, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is I'm doing. Is it one of those ones they throw all the information at you? I feel like you need the manual for this just to get going. So I got the manual with it. Hob, thank you so much. Man, that's so nice of you. That is awesome. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? What do you think? You just say, say thank you. <laughs> thank you, like, I owe ya. Let's see what the people have been saying all week about this cheating scandal. Astu says Ryan's a damn dirty cheater. Oh, come on in. Jason Stevenson says, fuck AAA, Ryan's a goat. Bill Benton says, after watching the video again, I have to say, Ryan didn't cheat. Look at the prices right. They got the crowd giving their advice all the time, but it doesn't mean they're always right. And finally, Mug Melman says, Ryan is a big pussy cheat and his farts smell like cat. The comments were rapid all week long. Now only time will tell if justice is being served. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Yase. Now let's get on to this. All right, all right. So I checked out the clip. 
Oh, uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll just show you the clip. Yo, motherfucker. Game expensive? Yeah, dog. So after further analysis, it's, fuck it's clear what just fucking happened. Bullshit. You know it. I know it. My sweet titty man knows it. Don't touch my fucking nipples! <laughs> uh, Ryan cheated. Yeah, dog! What? I knew it! What? Are you fucking kidding cheater. me? I'm sorry, baby. Fucking cheater. You can whip. No! Get Why would whip. you? You're my boy! Take that whip! Take that whip! Take that whip! Take that whip! You told me you had me. I know, baby. Why would you do this to me? Because you whipped me. Double crossing motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this whipping is sponsored by. The video game wizard! Listen, I just want you to know we're still what? friends. What? What are you doing? Turn around. Why are you, you turn around? You can't whip from there. Why? That's, that's a terrible that's, angle. That's You're right. So it's, yeah, it's, ter <laughs> it's a terrible angle. You're right. This is what happens to cheaters. Oh. 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 Let's go! That's how you whip right there! Oh. That's so bad. Yeah! It's like, how'd you whip me? You didn't use the whip, you used it as like... That's gonna wrap up episode 39, guys. Woo! Fucking whip that ass, boy. What an episode. Yeah, baby. We had fun. That wasn't fun. Next week, next week, guys. It wasn't fun at all. It seemed it fun. fun. Next week, guys, we're going to be picking up some Wii games and showing you what we've been collecting lately. Ryan found some Wii games. That's right. And on top of that, it's going to be our 40th episode. One of our fans out there suggested a stunt for Jordan. And he's going to try to perform that for you guys. Till next week, guys, make sure... Like, comment, subscribe. You can be the share guy. Share it. SHARE IT! OR EAT SHIT! I quit. Jason Stevenson saying, fuck AAA, Ryan's a GOAT! Let <laughs> me say it again. Was that right? Jason Stevenson says, I think he wrote it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>